Hey guys, um, I'm back doing another blog. The reason I'm doing it is because uh, I got the hopefully you can't actually see my address. It's from Canadian Blood Services. My husband Ken has an immune deficiency and he receives treatment for it every three weeks that involves getting a blood transfusion um, for about four hours and he gets two bottles. Uh, each bottle comes from about a thousand donors, so without blood donors, his life would be a lot more difficult. Because we live in Canada, it's all paid for. People that get it in the states where it's not paid for um, just end up dying from it because uh, treatment is so expensive. Each bottle costs about a thousand dollars. I am a huge uh, blood donor advocate. Unfortunately, I can't donate. I volunteered with them for a while and worked in high schools, um, kind of advertising for them and setting up clinics. Uh, but I did find something that I could do, um, inspired by Little Chief Honeybee. She posted um, something just a little while ago that made me realize that there's another thing that I could do um, that would help which was becoming a stem cell and bone marrow um, donor. Um, it should be my test to um, find out what I am, I guess. Uh, they have to find like super perfect matches for these things. So you basically take this test from what I understand um, and uh, they they put you in the system and when somebody needs bone marrow or stem cells they'll go through the system until they find someone that matches up they'll call that person um, and hopefully they can arrange it that they can then donate it. Uh, so I figured I'd maybe make this uh, how to become a stem cell bone marrow donor post video. Does that make sense? Hopefully. Um, what did I have here? Cool. Fancy stuff. Okay. I'm in business here. I'm taking off the sweater. Work with me here. Um, step one. Remove swab A. Where's swab A? So swab A. Check. Swab A removed. Oh, shoot. Okay. I need a pen. Open mouth and insert swab to area shown in diagram beside swab A on lower panel. Brush cotton surface for 20 to 30 seconds against inner surface of cheek. Use same force as when brushing your teeth. Press the labeled swab A into slit and hold it marked swab. Swab A, according to this guy, goes in this general vicinity. So let's do that. Alright, that wasn't bad at all. I survived. At this point, I just need to fill some stuff out. Uh, I think the lesson we all learned in this is that not only can you save lives by doing this, um, you can also look really, really sexy when you're taking the buccal swab. Something that you decide to do, definitely send me a message, let me know how it goes, what your thoughts are on it. Um, I wish you the best. If it's not something that you're interested in doing, um, uh, that's totally your call. I don't want to pressure you into anything like this. Um, but uh, it's it's definitely a good feeling. Um, I know if anybody that's donated blood in the past, uh, you feel pretty gratified after, especially knowing the person the blood could potentially could potentially be going to, because um, my husband's one of those people. So 
If you're a blood donor, also let me know and I'll send some good karma your way. Bye!